So how are we actually going to use serialization and deserialization in our Java programs? Um, you know, and, and this is one of these places where you'd be like, you might be tempted to be like, oh, well, I'll go and I'll read the JSON specification and then I'll start building it out for myself. And I've seen people do this and I have no idea what's wrong with those people because this is a solved problem. And so the only thing we have to figure out is what of these several different Java libraries for this are we going to use? And so you might go to Google and you might say something like, you know, serialize um, and you know, if you if you look this up, Java JSON serialize, um, there there is an art to searching Google. I'm not going to argue that it's trivial. Um, it's you know there are reputational things that you start to recognize. For example, this website Baildung is is extremely good with Java tutorials and resources. Um, Jenkov's okay. I tend to avoid tutorials. Point. Um, Stack Overflow is fine. Um, so these will you know for example if if I clicked on this, it's going to take me to some, um, you know, to something that has a suggestion about what to use. Now, keep in mind, this is ancient, right? Like this was originally answered almost 10 years ago. Um, if I do this, the first thing that comes up is this tutorial on the site called Bailed On. And this might be a good thing to start with. Um, and actually, we're going to look at this in just a second, because this is where we're going. The tool that we're going to use is called Jackson. That's the library, right? Um, and so if I go Java Jackson library. That's going to take me to uh, its GitHub homepage, which would also have some more information about the project and stuff like that. So GitHub, if you're not familiar with it, is a site where people share code that they've written. Um, and this site actually has the code for this project. Uh, you'll see that, let's see here, I think there's a, um, an actual uh, website for the project somewhere. Um, that we could find here, although I'm not seeing it right away. Um, but the, this tutorial here is actually probably more useful than that. This is going to kind of get us started. Um, and so if you read this, it says, you know, our, uh, the tutorial is focusing on how to serialize Java objects into JSON and deserialize JSON strings into Java objects. And so this, um, this sounds exactly like where we'd like to start. Um, if we click on this Jackson tutorial, it's going to take us to a page that has a bunch of different um, uh, Jackson is the library that you can use for a bunch of different things, um, but we're going to focus on this, and we're going to because we're going to we're going to drill down, and all we want to be able to do by the time we're done here is do two things. First of all, I want to be able to take a string and convert it, uh, take a Java object and convert it to a string, and then I also want to be able to take a string and convert it back into a Java object. I want to be able to do that both directions. Um, and this turns out to have uh, pretty much ex examples that are very, very similar to the ones that we're about to do. Um, and this is a good sign that we're, you know, a good sense that we're on the right track here, right? So it creates a car class with some, you know, uh, private uh, variables. And then it looks like I'm able to, to sort of serialize that into a JSON string. And again, we'll go through an example of this where we'll show you how to do this into a string um, rather than into a file, right? Now, Sometimes you want it into a file because you want to be able to save that persistently and then reload it the next time your program starts up or something like that. Um, but for the purposes of using these playground examples, we're going to do it as a file. And then there's another example here that shows you how to reverse the process, right? So simply taking a string and then deserializing it back into a Java object. And so this is one of those places where, you know, if you were going to do some work with Java, uh, with JSON and Java, you might want to bookmark this tutorial and bookmark this site just so that you remember, okay, this is the particular thing I want to use to solve this problem. Um, the Jackson library is already available for us in the playgrounds on the CS125 website, so we can just go ahead and get started using it um, and seeing how to both serialize, take a Java object and convert it to a string, and also deserialize, go in the opposite direction.